This is an example of age word problems. Here we'll see three people in the problem. It says Michelle is two years older than Judy and Terry is three times as old as Michelle. In seven years, Terry's age will be five more than the sum of the other two ages. Find the ages of each now. When you have three people, obviously the first time you read through you want to write the names down. So in this case I'll go Michelle Judy and Terry. When you have three people, um, as a general rule, what you want to do is see who is referred to most often. Uh, the best way to do that is just a tally as you read through. And the person who is uh, quoted the most per often or, or referred to the most often is the place where you start. That's the, var the variable that you should start with. Example, Michelle is two years older than Judy and Terry is three times as old as Michelle. Since Michelle was referred to twice, I'm going to start this problem by declaring M for Michelle's age today. And then I'll follow through with some logic and see if I can figure out expressions for the other two people. So if it says Michelle is two years older than Judy, logically I think I could deduce that Judy is two years younger than Michelle. If Judy is two years younger, we can call her M minus two. And the next sentence says, Terry is three times as old as Michelle. If Terry is three times as old as Michelle, I think we can call Terry 3M. As we've talked about the structure of these word problems, I look to the introductory phrase. It says, in seven years. In seven years is telling me that I should add seven to each of those expressions. You can see that I already have that typed up. And so as I add seven to the, each of these expressions, I can say m plus seven, m minus two plus seven would then be written as m plus five. And for Terry, we can say three m plus seven. And once again, once you get to this introductory clause, what follows is an equation in that tense. And so it sticks us in this column. You're not allowed to leave this column. So I read the ensuing phrase, and that should be my equation. It says Terry's age, so I write Terry, will be, is future tense, so the word is, which means equals, five more than, I want to shift over and add five, then the sum of the other two ages. And so that would be Michelle plus Judy. I can go back and reread that. It says Terry's age will be five more than the sum of the other two ages. So I think the logic is there. Now it's just a matter of throwing the algebraic expressions in and solving. And so I'll go with Terry, which again we come from the second column, 3m plus 7 is equal to Michelle, which is m plus 7, plus Judy, which is m plus 5, plus 5. And we'll solve this simple equation. 3m plus 7 will equal m plus m is 2m. 5, 5, and 7 will be 17. I'll move this 2m to the left, the 7 to the right, and so we can say 3m, take away 2m, equals 17, take away 7. 3m, take away 2m, is m. 17, take away 7, is 10. And so then I am ready to answer the questions of the ages for these people today. Michelle, who is m, is going to be 10, because that's the solution to my equation. She is 10. Judy, who is two years younger, will be eight, because 10 minus two is eight. And Terry, who is represented as 3m, 3m would be three times 10, which is 30. And there you have an age word problem.